people i am varad acharya welcome to a new video so in today's video we're going to learn power saving features of 8051 power saving modes you know ad51 has two power saving modes they are idle mode and they are power down mode the basic one is idle mode the more critical ruthless one is the power down mode so i'll be teaching you both i'll tell you what these modes do how to enter the modes you enter the modes using pcon register and what is the effect when you enter the modes how does the circuit change so i'll be telling you all of this in the video and now before we start you know what i've been doing this is an introduction the real video is there on my website it's called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com uh, we also have an app with the same name bharat acharya education it's an android app so you can watch the video on the website or on the app just log on to that uh, there is a small subscription price which we have kept so that all this is viable for us this takes a lot of time effort money everything for the show to run it's not possible to do this without uh, charging you a subscription fee but I have kept it as low as possible so that everybody can benefit from the knowledge that I have, I, I have gathered by teaching the subject for 18 years. I love the subject. I want to spread it. I want people to understand the subject and enjoy learning it. That's the idea. Now, uh, if you are in the app, there are more benefits. In the app, you can download a video. So, wherever you get fast internet, just download the video. Now, you can watch it from your phone without even depending on internet data or internet connection. You also have a feature of view notes. When you click that, the notes of the particular topic from my book, the PDF section of that topic will be available to you. So, what happens? You don't even need a physical book. You understand the topic from the video. You get the answer from the notes. For your phone itself, will take care of your whole AD51. One subscription, that's it. One-stop shop. Okay. Exams are coming up pretty soon now. Uh, don't keep wondering whether I want to do it or not. If you really enjoy AD50 and you want to enjoy AD50 and you want to understand the subject, get on with it. Okay. Hope to see you there. Now, to begin with power saving. What is power saving? Somebody is working on the computer and you go and switch it off. Is that power saving? <laughs> no. When somebody is not using an appliance, it should draw minimum power. It should get into a mode where it automatically consumes very low amount of power so that the power lasts. Why, are we, why is this topic created? Why is power saving done? A, of course, you save power, you conserve the environment, good for Mother Earth, which is a superb idea. We need it. That's the need of the hour. Otherwise, this planet will not survive beyond the next 60, 70 years. So that is one reason, of course. The other reason, power saving was introduced by microcontrollers, not microprocessors. Yeah, it, today it's used everywhere, but it was introduced by microcontrollers. Now, what is, why is it so important on MUSI? A MUC is used in appliance, MUPs are used in computers, computers work on running power, appliances work on stored power. What are appliances? Something like a remote control, something like a mobile phone, your calculator, your mu music player and so on. You know what I am talking about, right? Now all of these appliances, what is common in all of them? They work on stored power, they have power stored inside. Because they work on stored power, the more power you save, the longer the device will last. You go for a holiday, you take in your camera with you, you want the camera to last for a good part of your trip. Your phone, you want its battery to last for the whole day. Your calculator, you want it to be with you for the whole of engineering. Though what happens? For most of the semester, it is stuck somewhere inside your bag, in some corner of your room, you don't even open it. Now, should it be consuming full power at that time? Are you removing the battery at that time and going? No, the batteries are there, the power is there, but it's not being consumed. It goes into a mode where it saves power. You understand how important it is. Remote control batteries, you're not going to change them every month. You change them once, you expect it to last for a year or two or maybe more. So that is only possible because they go into power saving mode when you don't use them for a long time and so on. So I can go on. Every device today uses power saving. So uh, that's why it's created. Now, uh, let's start with it. AD51 has two power saving modes. To enter them, you need to use a register called PCON. So here is the explanation of PCON. 